Hello, oh, Providence College hockey fans. Welcome to this week of Friars Hockey presented by Dunkin' Donuts. I'm Nick Rojas. After a 2-2 tie, the Friars took this past week off to get rested and recuperated before starting a two-game series this Friday night against Northeastern. In today's edition of the show, we talked to Coach Lehman about the matchup with the Huskies, plus we caught up with senior Anthony Florentino. Let's start the show. Hi, I'm Anthony Florentino, and you're watching This Week in Friars Hockey. We're joined now by the head coach of the men's hockey team, Coach Nate Lehman. Coach, how are you doing? Good. Good to have you on. So, you took the past week off, you didn't have any games this past weekend. What were the focus in practice and off the ice? Um, you know, we gave the guys three days off, which I thought they needed. Um, it was, they, they had run into some midterms and, um, you know, as well as a pretty intense schedule to start here. So I thought they needed a break. Um, they came back and we, we did three hard days of practice, um, then, then gave them the weekend off. So the big thing was just getting re-energized uh, on, on the, all three practices. We tried to be as detailed as possible um, because those are the areas that, you know, really, if you look at the two areas the team needs uh, help with, is we got to play a heck of a lot more detailed, and we need to we need to get uh, our energy back. So when we went, we tried to be as detailed as possible, but other than that, we tried to give them some breaks. Mm. And you talk a little bit about energy. You said after the game against Merrimack that you know you felt like maybe the guys were hitting a little bit of a wall. So what are some of the expectations you're expecting out of these guys over the, this next stretch of games? Well, I mean, you know, it's, it's a, we're a quarter way through the season and we're not where we want to be. Uh, when you look at us statistically, uh, we're, we're in pretty good shape to, uh, statistically, but wins and losses, we're, we're nowhere near we'd like to be. So um, the big thing is just taking it one game at a time, getting back, having a good week of practice. Uh, we got to get, uh, we have, uh, you know, five of our next six games are Hockey East games. So we want to go and get some positive results in Hockey East. And now you're taking on Northeastern. Last year, they were in a similar position where they weren't where they wanted to be in the standings. However, they went on that run that they did. So what is standing out to you about this edition of the team? Well, good forwards. I mean, I don't think they've changed a lot. Good forwards. Um, you know, they, uh, the goaltending, I think, has kind of been a little up and down. Um, but they have really good forwards. They have a good power play. I think we're going to have to go play a good road game. All right, Coach. Well, good luck this weekend. All right, thanks. We're joined now by senior defenseman Anthony Florentino. Anthony, how are you doing? Doing well. Thanks for having me. Of course. It's good to have you on. You're a, you're a recurring guest. I think yeah. this might be your second or third time. Yeah. You lose track of all the yeah, good times. Exactly. Exactly. We've been doing the show for so long now. Well, Anthony, you've scored three of the last four games. You're doing well offensively. Are you happy with how things have been going offensively for you this season? Uh, yeah, I can't really complain. Um, I mean, three goals, last four games, it's good for the team. But uh, no, I don't really think about it like that. Um, you know, I just try and get the pucks to the net, have a um, scoring chance for the forwards. So uh, I've just uh, you know, found the back of the net, which I'm, which I'm happy about. So it's, uh, you know, I got to give it to the forwards too, because, you know, they're moving the puck and getting in the net, creating that screen. So Yeah, and some clutch goals as well thrown in the mix there. Uh, now that you're a senior, you kind of have to assume a leadership role. How have you approached that leadership role? How, how do you take that role? Um, well, I just think about the guys that, you know, I've had my past four years and, um, you know, just holding them accountable, especially with the, how young our group is. So, you know, doing that and, you know, just showing them, you know, the difference between what they're doing and what we, we're expecting them to do. So, you know, just holding them to the standard that we, we have here. Yeah, it's kind of like a family here and you're one of the big yeah. brothers. Exactly. So this past weekend, Northeastern had a little bit of a delay on the ice. The Zamboni melted some of the ice, something like that. You've been involved in a delay of yourself last year in Florida. What was that like? How do you guys stay, you know, uh, ready to go at any moment? Uh, well, that was the first delay I've had to deal with. And uh, I think it was like an hour long. And I spent the first 25 minutes of it in the penalty box. <laughs> so, uh, you know, it's tough to stay loose in there. But I mean, for me, if, you know, in between t TV timeouts or something like that, um, you know, I, I pay attention to the music just so I don't get too distracted and uh, try not to think about the game too much. So just wait for the time to pass by. Yeah, I mean, the 25 minutes in the penalty box must yeah, be. Yeah, it's pretty lonely in there. Yeah, I was about to say, so. you're probably brain racing off in a million directions. Yeah, exactly. But so I was happy to get back in the room with the boys. <laughs> After that. Well, Anthony, thank you so much, yeah, man. Good luck this weekend. Thanks for having me. Thanks for coming on. 
to help get us ready for this matchup against the Northeastern Huskies. We send it down now to KJ Hammond. KJ, what do you have this week? That's right, Nick. Another Hockey East matchup for the number 19 Providence College men's ice hockey team as they host Northeastern University here at Schneider Arena Saturday night. The Huskies are off to a slow start this year, currently 3-4-4, but don't forget last season also started off in a very similar way. On November 21st, the Friars handed them a 3-0 loss, and then after that, the Huskies tallied off 21 wins to conclude the season as Hockey East champions. They also have three very capable scorers in Dylan Sakura, Adam Gaudet, and Zach Aston Reese. All three rank in the top 30 in terms of points scored in Division I college hockey. In fact, the Huskies know how to score early and often. 15 of their 31 goals came in the first period this season. Now, if the Friars can weather the storm early on, they may be able to win their first Hockey East matchup this weekend. That's it for the scouting report. Back to you, Nick. Thank you so much, KJ, and thank you to my guests, Coach Lehman and Anthony Fortino, for joining me on today's show. Friday night's game starts at 7 o'clock at Matthews Arena, stream available online, while Saturday night's game starts at 7.05 right here in Shine Arena. Tickets are still available, and you can watch the stream on Friars All Access. Of course, follow the team on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat, and at Friars.com for all the post pictures, updates, and more throughout the season. Thank you so much for watching this week in Friars Hockey, we'll see you next time. Have a great day.